So previously when we were looking at that chart with all the different subatomic particles, I highlighted that the mass wasn't in kilograms or AMU or in a unit of mass that you're actually very familiar with. We noticed that it was in this MeV per C squared. It certainly looks odd, but it's actually a very common unit in particle physics. And hopefully as we go through this, you'll see why particle physicists like it. But I've seen once before on the diploma asking to convert a mass into, I think it was either EV per C squared or MeV per C squared. But we just want to look at how this works. So when you're trying to find a particle's mass in this some form of electron volts per C squared, what you're actually going to do is you're going to calculate its energy. And you're going to calculate its energy in joules. And then you're going to convert that to the appropriate form of electron volts you want. Mega electron volts, kilo electron volts, whatever it is. And then that number there, that's actually going to be your mass in MeV per C squared. The only thing you have to do is tack on this per C squared part. It takes a little bit of practice to get used to, and it does sound really bizarre. We'll go through an example, and then I will show you why particle physicists like this. So stay with me on this one. I know I'm just kind of throwing a lot at you right now. So what we want to do is we want to determine the mass of an electron in mega electron volts per C squared. So we'll give our answer to three significant digits. So the first thing is determine the energy of the electron in joules. So we're going to determine energy of electron in joules. And to do this, we're going to get a little help from our friend Einstein we know that E is equal to mc squared. So we know the mass of our electron, 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilos. And then we got our speed of light squared. As always, don't forget the square when you're doing speed of light squared. That's a common pitfall that gets students. And every time a student falls for that, it makes me very sad. So we're going to get that the energy is about 8.199 times 10 to the minus 14 joules. What we want to do now, since we're asking to have this in MeV per C squared, we're going to convert joules to mega electron volts. So we're going to convert that to MeV. Now some people, they do their conversions in one step. I'm big on doing that too. But again, showing you some extra steps never hurts anyone. So we know in a single joule, we are going to have, or sorry, in one electron volt, we have 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. And then we know for every mega electron volt, we're going to have 10 to the 6 EV. So really what we're doing is we're dividing this by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 13. What this is going to do is this is going to give us an energy of 0 0.512 MeV. So that is our energy. And then we see from E equals MC squared here. So we've got E equals MC squared. We know mass is just energy divided by C squared. What we're actually doing is we're going to take this energy here and we're going to divide it by C squared but we're just going to actually leave the c squared alone. We're not actually going to plug in the value of c and we're not going to square that. All we're going to say for this is the mass is equal to that 0 0.512 mega electron volt divided by c squared. And all we're going to do is we're going to say that the division by c squared, that's just going to be part of the units now. So we'd say that the mass of this thing is about 0 0.512 mega electron volts per C squared. Really what you're finding here, what this represents, is this represents the energy associated with that particle. And the reason that we like this, or the reason particle physicists like to have the mass in MeV per C squared, well, if you want to find the energy of this thing, you're just multiplying this quantity by C squared. Well, this quantity multiplied by C squared is going to get rid of the C squared, and you're left with energy. So it's very convenient. If you're asked to find a mass in some electron volt per C squared, determine that energy of that particle in electron volts or mega electron volts or whatever prefix of electron volts you need. 
and you have found its mass. All you have to do is tack on that little C squared on the end, and that's it. I know this is a little bit confusing because we just threw this new notation system at you, but it is just something to be aware of if you see it crop up on an exam or for those of you that study a little bit of particle physics later on.